Good morning, parents and students. Happy Friday. Are you guys ready for something new? Are you guys ready for something fun? Are you guys ready for something different to do that is not just reading a text, answering questions, and taking a quiz? I know I am. So, like you guys have probably seen on the Edsby page, is that I have planned for us today a special virtual field trip. Now, I say that in quotes because it's not actually a field trip. One of the cool things about the internet is we can go to many different places and learn about many different things from the safety of our homes. And that's what we're gonna do today. This week, we have been reading a very interesting nonfiction story that they call narrative nonfiction about a very stubborn seal named Astro. And it even tells us a little bit more about the people that have taken care of Astro, right? Like the scientists at the Mystic Aquarium, right? Well, what I thought would be fun, instead of just giving you guys another text to read and another set of questions and another quiz to take, instead, what I thought could be fun is for us to do a little bit of exploring and learning about sea lions uh, from the internet. Um, so I'm gonna break down a little bit about what that's going to entail in a second, but I at least wanted to let you guys know at first that that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're not gonna be looking at another text specifically, but we're going to be exploring a little bit and learning more about seals and sea lions and the people who take care of them through other places found on the internet. So let me break down a little bit about what this is gonna look like. Let me pull up the task that you guys are gonna do. So let me get that started. So like I said, we're gonna be doing a virtual field trip today, meaning we're not gonna be actually going anywhere, but we're going to be exploring the internet, going to different websites, things like that, just to learn more about astro, sea lions, and the people who rescue them too. So we're gonna be learning a little bit more and applying what we've learned from the book to information that can be found just about anywhere. So virtual field trip, we're gonna be exploring the internet to learn more about astro, sea lions, and the people who rescue them. So here's what you guys are going to do. And I'm gonna walk you guys through a lot of these steps. Your task today, the first thing you guys are gonna to want to do is explore different online resources to learn more about sea lions like Astro and the people who take care of them. So while we're doing this field trip, we're gonna be setting our minds to start thinking about what are we gonna learn about sea lions? We've learned a little bit from this text, but now we're gonna learn a little bit more. We're gonna learn a little bit more maybe about Astro and other sea lions like him that have been taken in by these people and you know raised in captivity. So we're gonna be learning more about sea lions and sea lions like Astro. And most importantly, we're gonna be thinking about the people who take care of them. These are people whose jobs it is to learn and figure out how to take care of seals and sea lions that honestly can't go back to the wild like Astro. So that's the first thing we're gonna think about. We're going to be trying to find as much information as we can to learn more about sea lions, uh, Astro, and people who take care of sea lions. That's step one. Step two, what you guys are going to have to do, and this one's critical, this one's like very important, so pay attention. The second thing you guys are gonna to need to do is you guys are gonna to have to tell me three things that you learned about sea lions from places outside of the text. So let me repeat that and emphasize that last part. You guys need to tell me three things you learned about sea lions that was found outside of the text, meaning you can't just tell me things about sea lions that was found in the text. I know what the text says about sea lions, and I'm sure you guys do too, but you guys are gonna have to find other places. You guys are gonna have to find other things to learn and explain to me about sea lions that you did not learn from the text we read, okay? Once again, I will show you guys how to do that, okay? But that one's important. If you just tell me things that the text told me, you're not doing the task. You're not doing the task. You're just going back to the text, like going back to the text all the time instead of actually doing the trip, instead of actually going and doing the research and doing the learning from other places. So that's the most important thing. You have to look at other places. The third thing is you guys are going to have to write me. Now, this is the big one. This is gonna be one that is worth the most points. You guys are gonna have to write me a paragraph or more that details what you have learned about sea lions this week. Now, this does include the text, but this is also going to include the research and the learning you guys are gonna be doing today during this trip. 
So you guys are gonna have to write me a paragraph. Now that's not one sentence, that's not two sentences, that's about three to five sentences. And if you wanna write more than that, by all means, I encourage it. So you guys are gonna have to write me a paragraph or more that details what you've learned about sea lions. And once again, that can be found from the text, but it also, you have to include details that you learned from other places during this trip, okay? Now, once again, this doesn't require like a thousand different websites. This doesn't include like a thousand different um, videos or places you looked, just a couple, you know? Like we're not doing, we're not gonna make this too hard, okay? So as long as you have access to the internet and you're able to do this, shouldn't be that hard. So that paragraph is going to be worth the most amount of points. So keep that in mind. And then the last thing, this is going to be important because this is something you guys are going to have to do in high school and college. Okay. You guys have to create a list of three or more websites or places online that you went to. Okay. You can't just include the text because we've read the text. I've read the text. You've read it, right? You can't just include the text. You have to create a list of at least three or more places that you went to in order to do this research, in order to do this learning, okay? So you guys are gonna have to go to other places to find more information about astro, sea lions, and you know people who take care of them, okay? So I'm going to break these down piece by piece a little bit more for you. So let's go ahead and take a look. Mr. Mendenhall, what are we gonna have to do first? Well, boys and girls, like I said, we're gonna be learning more about sea lions like Astro and the people who take care of them, right? So what do we need to do first? Well, the first thing you're gonna to need to do is you guys are gonna to have to find other places that give information about this topic. And because I'm such a nice teacher, I'm gonna be giving you guys a lot of them. So what I have here, what I've pulled up is the internet. I have my browser here. This is the Zoom app. This is where I'm doing all my recording. But what I have here, and one of the places you guys can go to look is, if I can get this out of the way, hold on, sorry, is, aha, right here, is YouTube. Guess what, guys? You get to go to YouTube for this. What I have here, and what I searched into YouTube is the Mystic Aquarium. Why Mystic Aquarium? Well, according to the text, that's where Astro the sea line was taken. So what I did was I went to YouTube, typed in Mystic Aquarium, and it took me to their channel. Now, parents, I know you guys might be a little bit concerned. I have checked it out. It's all good to go. This is official. This is their YouTube page. So on YouTube, when you guys get to the Mystic Aquarium page, you guys will find that they have an absolute ton of videos on here about the different animals that they have at this aquarium, right? But Mr. Mendenhall, we're not learning about all the other animals. You're absolutely right. We're learning about seals and sea lions, right? If we scroll down and look, we'll start to see that some of these videos do talk about seals and sea lions that they have there. Guess what? You guys can watch some of these videos. You don't have to watch all of them, but pick some of the videos you guys want to learn more about, right? You guys can look and see that they have a ton of videos about their animals. Most importantly, they have their seals and sea lions. So watch a couple of these videos about their seals and sea lions and see what you guys can learn because that's going to help you end up doing this task, right? Another thing I found, so that once again, that's one of the places you can go is the Mystic um, Seawater Aquarium. So the next thing, place you can go, and this, once again, I will post this all on the Edsby page. What I have here, I'm not gonna play this for you guys, is this is one of the videos that the Mystic Seawater Aquarium posted on their page. And guess what? If you look at the title of that video, it's Meet Astro, the Celebrity Stellar Sea Lion. Guess what? Didn't we just read about him? So we can, they have a video of Astro himself. I think that would be a great video and a great place to start especially since this is the aquarium that he's being kept at. This is the aquarium that's raising him. And most importantly, it's about Astro himself. So I think this would be a great place to start. So while you're watching that video or other videos like it, go ahead and start thinking, what are some new things I'm learning here? What are some things I'm learning about seals and sea lions, excuse me, from this video? 
and from other videos like it. What am I learning about Astro? What am I learning about sea lions here? So that's a couple things. So you could go to their YouTube page. Now what I found here, and once again, I will post this on Edsby, is this is the Mystic Aquarium website. Why is this one important? Well, like I said, this is the website where, excuse me, where Astro the sea lion was taken. This is the place where they took Astro to raise him since he couldn't go back into the wild. So how can I use this website, Mr. Mendenhall? How can I use this website to kind of help me with my research? Well, I'm gonna show you. What we're gonna do first is we're going to go over to this little sidebar here that says search. I'm gonna click on that. And well, since we're learning about sea lions, I'm going to type in sea lions here, click search. Wait for it to load. And look here. Look at all that. They have a ton of links on their own website that tell us more about sea lions. Like, look here. Face, I guess FB means Facebook. Facebook Live answers stellar sea lions, seals and sea lions, fur seals forever find a home at Mystic Aquarium, sea lion tagging, sea lion pups. There's a ton of links on their own website that can give you more information about seals and sea lions. And I'm sure Astro's on there too. So just like YouTube, go ahead and take a look at some of these, like some of these pages that they have. Take a look at some of the things that they've posted about their sea lions and see what you can learn. So just like YouTube, start thinking about what am I going to learn about seals and sea lions by looking at a couple of these you know, pages on their website. So once again, I will post this link on Edsby so you guys can go straight to it. Now, Mr. Mendenhall, is the website the only place we can go to? Absolutely not. You guys can also go while it loads. Ha <laughs> ha, here we go. To Mayan. I know Emma uh, sent me a message earlier in the week saying she had this exact book on Mayan. That's excellent. I told her she could use it. But what you can do is go to the library, click search. And since we're learning about sea lions and seals, we can just type in sea lions, click search. And you guys will notice that there's not a whole lot on here, but we have a, a couple texts here about sea lions, sea, California sea lions. If I get rid of the S, maybe search again. Yeah, they have the exact text there. Um, I'm sure if we scroll down, um, I'm sure there's a couple other texts we can use too. Um, but play around with Mayan, see if you guys can find anything that I'm not able to find. Um, but you do notice that there are a couple texts about sea lions on Mayan. Mayan is also another option. Okay, so once again, let's recap. What we are going to be doing today is we're going to be exploring a couple online resources to learn more about seals, sea lions, and the people who take care of them, right? You guys can use uh, the Mystic Aquarium uh, YouTube page to watch videos on some of the sea lions that they have there. You guys can go to the Mystic Aquarium website and see a couple pages that they've posted about their sea lions. Um, you can go to Mayan and learn more information. Are these the only places we're allowed to use? No, if you like want to explore a little bit more and find other places that tell a little bit more about sea lions, by all means, go ahead and do it. Just make sure you list that when you guys do your task, okay? Make sure you tell me where you went to. A uh, good rule is if the website doesn't seem safe or the website doesn't seem like it's gonna give you the best information or even correct information, don't use it. Don't go to message boards, don't go to anything like that. Stick to pages and stick to websites that you feel comfortable and feel like you're going to get the best information from, okay? So that websites like the Mystic Aquarium or webs or pages like the YouTube page that the Mystic Aquarium put up, okay? Stick to pieces of information that you trust. Stick to pieces of information that you know are going to be correct, not just people who think that they know what they're talking about, okay? So once you guys have found enough information, once you guys have found enough details that you guys want to tell me about, 
Tell me three things you learned about sea lions from reading other places, not just the text. You guys are gonna write a paragraph detailing me what you've learned about sea lions this week. And then you guys are gonna create me a list of about three places other than the text that you went to for information. Once again, if you guys need this clarified a little bit more, go ahead and start this video over and play through it again. And if that still doesn't help, send me a text, okay? Send me a text, shoot me a message on, on Edsby. Uh, let me know that I'm still not quite understanding what we're supposed to do and I'll see if I can break it down just a little bit more. Um, hopefully this, you guys have a good time with this. I'm excited to see what you guys are gonna learn about. I'm excited to see what you guys are going to tell me about seals and sea lions. Uh, so let me know what you guys find. Let me see if you guys find anything cool. Um, I am here if you guys need help. Feel free to ask me if you guys need anything. I am still your teacher, which means you guys are still my students and I'm here to help you guys. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Have fun with this virtual field trip and I'll see you guys on Monday. Take it easy.